Okay, so I'm going to read a book number 4815 in my library today. So it's called Personal Library in Paperback, June 7, 2022 by Mary Benedict, who's the author, Victoria Christopher Murray, who's the author also. To explore the book, you click here. This is the cover page of it and summary of the book. The instant New York Times bestseller, a Good Morning America book club pick, named the best book of the year by NPR, named a notable book of the year by the Washington Post, historical fiction at its best, a remarkable novel about J.P. Morgan's personal librarian, Belle Costa Green, the black American woman who was forced to hide her true identity and uh, passes white in order to leave a lasting legacy that enriched our nation from New York Times bestselling authors, Mary Benedict and Victoria Christopher Murray. So in her 20th, uh, uh, in her 20s, uh, Bella da Costa Green is hired by J.P. Morgan to create a collection of rare uh, manuscripts, books, and artwork for his newly built uh, Pierre Pond Morgan Library. Belle becomes a fixture, a fixture in New York City society and one of the most powerful people in the art and book world. Known for her impeccable taste and shrewd negotiating for critical works as she helps create a world-class collection. Uh, but Belle has a secret, one she must pr uh, protect at all costs. She has born not Belle da Costa Green, but Belle uh, Marianne Greener. She is the daughter of Richard Greener, the first black graduate of Harvard and a well-known advocate for equality. Belle's complexion is in dark because of her alleged Portuguese heritage that lets her pass as white, her complexion is dark because she is African American. The personal librarian tells the story of an extraordinary woman famous for her intellect, style, and wit, and shares the lens she must go to uh, for the protection of her family and her legacy to preserve her mm, carefully crafted white identity in the racist world in which she lives. So, um, subscribe to the channel and like the book. Bye.